in uh, 2017, a tornado hit the building and we had been operating uh, two stores out of the Chevy store in service for two years while we rebuilt our brand new Buick and GMC facility. So now that we took the opportunity to move everybody in slowly during this slower traffic time, and now we're open and ready to serve the public in our new BG store with um, appropriate social distancing. There's a lot more space. And uh, because of that, we're ready to take down our old Buick GMC building. We have strict social distancing guidelines. We required all of our teammates to wear a mask all the time. We did some things in service um, that gave us an opportunity to better serve the public. Um, you can do a no contact drop off with a night drop form, sign it, let us know what we need to work on. We'll deliver the car back to you. Um, we've been, we've tried to keep people out of the waiting room as much as possible and just have them drop off, have a friend pick them up, all kinds of great stuff like that. And then in the sales department, we can do a full, um, you can start the whole process online. We can deliver the car to you with the paperwork. You can FedEx the paperwork back to us. So we're trying to do as much to keep the customer at home that they want to and only come in if they absolutely need to. Because of the extra space that we have now, um, it really made a difference in the service department. When we had combined into the Chevy store, they were working one rack per technician and that was too, that's too close to meet the guidelines. So when we moved over here, now they have two bays, they're almost never, they're never in you know, six feet within another person. And then um, the same thing in our sales department. It's a much bigger showroom footprint. They are much more spaced out and um, it, just, it feels like we can relax and really take care of the customer well. Test driving is still an option. We just aren't going with you. We're, we're um, signing you up with your driver's license and your insurance card and letting you take the test drive solo. The demolished building behind me will turn into more a larger parking space for new car inventory and used car inventory. It's a much better layout in terms of uh, how far, how close the other building was to the street. There's a, it's a lot better um, flow for customer traffic. They can come right into service and then we can take the car and pull it right in. So it, just the flow is much better. They will be wrapped up with the whole parking lot. They actually have to level that property. You can kind of see the difference in the height, so to speak. So they have to level that out, bring in some dirt that we have stored in the back from the other demolition of the other side of the property. They'll level this property out and then pave it and it should be done by mid-June. When you think of car dealerships, it's easy to think that we're not essential, but Everything we're hearing from customers was I had a hole in my tire, I couldn't get to work, I was able to pull right in and you guys took care of it. So, you know, we're mindful of our place in the community and that responsibility and then, you know, we're going to celebrate 100 years in business next year. So we're mindful that um, it's only our community that has supported us that lets us get there. So we're excited to celebrate 100 years in this brand new facility and, and serve the community in another 100 years. For over a century, Farmers National Bank has stood strong. Through booms and busts, peaks and valleys, we've learned to know the seasons and how to grow in each of them. During challenging times, everyone is reminded of the value of solid relationships in both life and business. Farmers, stand strong.